who covered very well. And that's it. Finally, finally, Sikiru Adewale. Sikiru Adewale gets his first goal for Warrior Wolves. His first goal for Warrior Wolves. A good one. I mean, he was part of he was part of the play. He was part of the play till he got to the corner kick. The shot from him, and of course, um, the corner kick. He was he was at the other end. Um, he was well positioned. The ball got to him. It was like a loose ball. Sikiru Adewale there getting a the goal. The man from first bank. His first goal it is for Wari Wolves. And that's a corner kick again. Poor, poor defending from Kano Pillars. Sikiru well positioned. And of course, finished um, finish up the ball because uh, there was uh, a Manuel Omadi that be bringing the ball back into play. It was onside. And Sikiru well positioned. Here's the ball beyond Sifra Zafelokai and the defenders. Uh, a goal worthy of their enterprise in the first half already. Wari Wolves, they would want to start, like I said, uh, I said Wounded Lions, but I, well, these jerseys are not, they don't have names on them. Uh, they sometimes, they may not quite be enough to go around and they secure again. The ball. I think I saw something you didn't see, OJ. See OJ. Um, a defender got a touch on that ball. And that skewed the ball further than it was supposed to have gone through that pass. So that was what made that ball. Then um, good defensive play by Wally Wolf here. And better again. Adewale has been fouled. So it's going to be a free kick to Wally Wolves. Playing so well today. Not like the Wolves we've seen in the first three games. This is a different Wally Wolves. Ruben Ogona has to be careful with his um, tackles, otherwise um, he might just Simba rolls the ball to Ikechuku Ibenegu, finds si Sikiru Adewale, who gets the ball. The guy is enjoying himself today. Of course, a good time to even attract the attention of the national team handlers. He's still with the ball, Adewale enjoying it. Can it be the fourth one? He still have advantage, Ibenegu is there. Oh, <laughs> that was a lazy one for Monamadu. Well, that's like, <laughs> it was uh, a good ball in. The Moa Sound was uh, just beaten by lack of height. And it is Adewale now. Sikiri Adewale, he's going for his hat-trick. He's on a hat-trick, but that was more like a gentle back pass to the goalkeeper. Felukai had no problem clutching that one. Now five um, on the 20 um, World Cup in Holland, represented Nigeria, played for Paisa United, scores three kicks. Let's see if he's going to score one today. But then Sikiri Adewale with the ball. He scored two goals here today. A guy who's won so well today. It's going to be an advantage um, kind of pillars anyway, because they have the ball. The chance of wreaking havoc if it hadn't been deflected, like uh, you rightly noted, another infringement. But the referee lets Wari Wolves carry on with the play and carry on the duel. They're coming close here, and a chance, a shot, he hits the crossbar, and uh, well. That's very close. Did it hit the crossbar or was it the stanchion behind the goals? But that's one of the closest Wari Wolves have come so far. Yeah, good penetration there. That was actually a very good save indeed from Joshua and Nahara to turn it behind. Very, very strong attention from uh, Monday Osagia. Osagia, yeah. Yeah, you're combining very well with the substitute Sikiru Adewale. I think Adewale has hurt himself. He appeared to be thrown on the ball. Very sweet left foot he has on him. And uh, Michael Egbeta, the ball forward. As a Motorog would well, that was Adewale attempting a snapshot, but uh, he couldn't keep it down. Well, Motorog would have. Uh, not being accurate enough, especially coming from Wari Wolves or Namado again. Alimi, he was hacked down here. And of course, uh, one thought it would have been a first yellow card. Secure Alimi was hacked there by Isiaka or Now, this is the second time he's done this and has gotten away with it in this game. Pretty lenient referee we have here. Now I was talking about home team Wari Wolves do not get it their way. Lot of markings. They don't really allow you to settle down. You've just seen one of them there. 
and that was Isiaka Oladunjo. Now, third time around, perhaps this time, referee Mohamed Nsule would book him. Now, he went out for... Sikiru Alimi was really hacked to the ground this time. Talking about Isiaka Oladuntoye. And so Oladuntoye is a candidate for a, a red card. Good play. Ball crossed. Onamado oh, should have hit that ball. A chance for Rory Wolves. And the final is cut to the inter corner. Are United. It all started when Stanley Dingba went on a mazy run. Went to the byline and chipped the ball out. Now Sikiru Alimi thought it got in. The better of the goalkeeper and the ball was selling into the net. They didn't take matches uh, that you know that Warrior Wolves, they've got uh, uh, some big games uh, coming up uh, and they've got to get all three points uh, on this ground. Uh, check out that uh, their next game is away to Abia Warriors uh, and they have another uh, road trip uh, to Kano where they will play Kano Pillars next uh, after Abia Warriors. Uh, and then after that, uh, they've got Sunshine Stars uh, and then Rangers. Uh, so all the four matches are very strong games for Warrior Wolves. Okay, Mute, a long shot that came in. The rebound and of course also well defended there by Wolves. And uh, this is Alimi on the run as Wari Wolves a break. Osadia is in the middle. Osadia can you miss it? No. The defense are beginning to do something uh, they've never done before. Yeah, especially with Sikiru Alimi powered, highly fired up the box. Sikiru taking his defender to the cleaners. That's talking about Obadaki Haliru. And he pulled the ball out. Osadia almost got to that ball. His defenders let him down there. And a good persistence from Wari Wolves. When that shot came in, he had the presence of mind to take care of his near post there. Got both hands on that ball and pushed it into top. Ferry. It's really incredible the amount of talent that's on the bench. And uh, for any bad, perhaps it's even, <laughs> it's even worse. You have Moses Ocheje on the bench, Chike Tangor is there, Kester Kelly, Musa Najari, Uzuba Nezemba, Ufon Udo, Eto Daniel, Eric Frimpong. Unbelievable. This is the bench. Unbelievable. <laughs> this is the bench. <laughs> you know that uh, a player like Ufon Udo is not getting the starting lineup. And you know. The pre perhaps uh, about calling a free kick there he didn't it is Wari Wolves interchange King Osaga just uh, rolled the ball forward Wari Wolves streaming towards uh, the Enyimba area and header and a foul that just cleared the post by a jump millimeters was it from this position it looked very close indeed and uh, from this position Enyimba looked very lucky Oh, great header from Alimi there. Great header. The uh, post just uh, taken a little bit of uh, the ball. It was actually something that uh, touched, but it didn't touch the post. It was something the ball hit there, uh, just inches away from a target. A beautiful header from Alimi.